is he body weight wise? Is he in that range where you guys want him to be? Don't know. Don't know. This is his first day with us. Um, he looks to be in good shape. We'll we'll see. You know, uh, you're never as in good a shape as you think you are, right? You get here with Coach LSI, and all of a sudden it's a different type of conditioning, and so uh, we got to be smart with him and the reps that we give him, and make sure that uh, you know he's not pulling anything early. The main thing is just to get him to learn our scheme. How hard is it for a player like him who's been out for uh, quite a while to jump in and, and learn it? Obviously, he had Kalani schemes, so he kind of knows some of it, but. I think it's just with any any player, whether you're a return missionary, you know, uh, whether you've been out because you've been, you've been a red shirt, whatever, I, it's it's the same. The biggest thing is is the conditioning aspect of it. Is you know running and planting with 12 pounds of extra weight with shoulder pads and helmet. No matter what you do, I mean, even our guys during the summer, Doug does such a great job conditioning those guys, and then 12 pounds of extra weight come on, and, and now my running's backwards instead of forwards, and. Uh, you know, your break and drive, you do a bunch of different things. So bottom line is we got to get him out here, be smart with the reps that we're giving him, keep him healthy, and let him learn the system. How did uh, Brian Fertile play on Saturday at linebacker for you guys? Good. He's a good talent. He's another guy that we got to be really careful with him and make sure that we bring him along uh, with the conditioning. Um, again, we feel he can play for us and play for us early. Um, you know, how early, we don't know, but uh, he's – Tell you what, he is a no nonsense, no excuse type of kid. You know, doesn't complain about the running, doesn't complain about how much we're force feeding him. You know, right now he's drinking water out of a fire hose, so we just keep on force feeding him. With a couple of linebackers late joining the program, how many do you feel like you have week one? Well, you've got Chase and Cody, you've got Donovan. Uh, who got time last year, who's doing some really good things. Devin Lloyd's a redshirt freshman who has the athletic ability, still picking up the defense. You got Pirtle and Francis Bernard. So I don't know, what was that? Six. 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 So that went from a, a position where you, it's kind of a question mark to a position we're feeling better about if we can keep guys healthy. Is there any separation at the defensive tackle spot? Mm, I'd say... Right now, they're all playing pretty well. Lecky Fotu, there's a guy that, that uh, he understands that running to the football is going to get him a lot of money. He's a big boy that uh, he's playing really well right now. He's in good shape. Coach Anderson's done a great job with him. Hawati Pututau, uh, there's a guy that has a knack for batting the ball down. He showed that in the scrimmage. Uh, then you got, uh, you know, Peter Tonga, uh, John Penicini. Those guys aren't far behind, you know, and so it's nice to be able to have a rotation that when guys are tired, you can put them in and not expect to have much of a drop off.